So, how can a vacation be really, really good and at the same time be really, really frustrating and bad, but still good? That's what I want to talk to you about on the next edition of the Midweek Snack. So we've been having a great time. When we first got here, we went over to the Mexican Fiesta and they had like all you can eat food, all you can drink, and just was this fantastic time. They had some dancers that were there and there were people that were just uh, playing games about seeing who has the best table. They're playing theme songs. If you can name the song, you can win. And, and you know, we a bottle of tequila. We never won, but it was the fun that counted. So anyway, we had a great time. We also went down to the beach yesterday at Madonna, and we went in the currents. And Trajan proved to be the best swimmer in the family, hands down. So we had this great time. It was a great experience. Um, we also went to this place. Uh, in the marina, we asked a local, it's like, hey, where is the best tacos there? Because Trajan really likes tacos, street tacos specifically. And he said, you got to go to this place called the best tacos, hands down. Now, how many people would not go to that place, right? That says, that is a big boast. That's the name of the place. The best tacos in town, hands down. So anyway, we went there and it was absolutely true. We just had this wonderful, delicious, very sapid tasting flank steak street tacos. Uh, just perfectly seasoned. And it was by far the best tacos we've had in Kabul and pretty much anywhere. I don't think there's ever been a place hands down. So we had some great experiences. But we've also had some very frustrating experiences, specifically myself. And the Lord is really teaching me things here because, uh, first of all, we came to Cabo San Lucas and I um, didn't bring the specific credit card that I used to make the reservation. I was already charged it, but I wanted to save on the foreign transaction fees. That's, that's part of Penny Pincher Panis philosophy, save as much money as possible. So anyway, um, to make a long story short, the person at the reception said, you know, there was clear instructions. You were supposed to bring the same card. And if you didn't bring the same card, we're going to have to charge you again for the hotel stay. And I was not in a good mood. I was not happy. I didn't understand those rules because... Obviously, my bank has the money already taken out, and so why did this have to happen? Unfortunately, it was just one of the hotel policies, and as much as I tried, they would not maneuver. So that was strike one, so I had to redo this whole trip again, and they said they're going to credit my account, but the card that I had to put it on, ha! Ah, it... Uh, it was all the money that I had planned on spending for extra excursions. So that card was tapped out. And anyway, you can understand what I'm trying to say. Okay. So after we did that, um, we went out and uh, there's a person that was telling us about, you know, going to a timeshare. Well, I always go to timeshares. My wife hates timeshares, but I went to the timeshare and basically we got free ATV uh, riding on the beach and we also got like a sunset strip tour. And anyway, to make a long story short, basically uh, they forgot to tell me about the governmental fees. 25 bucks a person on the ATVs and then for insurance it, since we got two ATVs it was 35 bucks so there's a hundred and seventy dollars that I didn't expect to pay so that was also frustrating well this morning I went for a jog and all of a sudden I found out that um, when I found a hat that I wanted ie what do you guys think of my hat I, uh, I went to look for cash because they had about hundred twenty dollars in my 
uh, back my fanny pack, my my, my purse thing. Um, well, to make a long story short, all the money's gone. So either two things happen. Either either I went jogging and I got pickpocketed from my fanny pack. I don't think so. Or see how this thing has a zipper? I must I could have left it down and when I was running, it could have fallen out. Those are the two only possibilities that I can think of, unless somehow I have it somewhere, but I've looked everywhere. You know when you can't find things, you start looking in stupid places like the refrigerator and looking in your socks and all those kinds of things. So anyway, so frustrating from a financial perspective, um, encouraging from a relaxation and just spending time with my family and we're gonna do a lot more things together. So. I'm really, really happy about that. So what has God been teaching me? It's just been bringing me back to like Philippians chapter 4 where it says, you know, I could do all things whether, in, whether I have a whole bunch of stuff in good circumstances or in bad circumstances. I, I can flourish. I can be content whether I have plenty or whether I have nothing. And, and so that's my lesson I've learned today in Kabul, is that sometimes the secret to life is not planning the best trip where you can save the most money or making the best plans, but sometimes the best plan is simply to say, I'm going to be content in any and every situation because God is good. And ultimately, things will even out, maybe not this trip, but somewhere down the road because God has been good to us. And I think sometimes that's what we forget when we get frustrated or when things don't go our way because we're so instant gratification. We're, we don't think about sometimes all the past times where God has taken care of us. But He has and He will continue. So I'm going to continue having this great experience at Kabul. I'm eating breakfast now at the buffet. I'm outside. Behind me is where all the pools are, and in the distance is where the ocean is. That was for John. It was his request. Anyway, I hope you all are having a great time. We are having a great time, um, and we are learning, and God is always, always working things out, helping to sanctify us in his, in his spirit. Anyway, until next time on the next edition of the uh, Midweek Snack, I hope you all have a great rest of the week. God bless. I just spilled my drink.